How's it guys and welcome back to another episode of Game on Garage. We've got an absolute massive update for you guys today. I mean, we've got a new location, we've got new cars. And we've got a new member. Perfect. Let me just see. What? Hello, it's Vessel. Okay, cool. How's it going, guys? My name is Vessel, and I am the new member of Game on Garage and also the media and video guy. Uh, so I'm just going to keep it short and we can move straight to the cars and, and start talking about the, the projects we have. So we're going to start off with the Blue NX5. Um, it is currently turboed. He did not do a series on that, but we can take the whole thing apart and do a series on that again. Then we're going to move over to my white 1991 MX5 Miata. Um, there's not a lot going on. What we have under the hood is uh, not very rare and not very special, but we swapped in a 2002 NB VVT. This is definitely going to be a, a build on the series. Uh, we are planning to turbo it. We already have all the parts and then, yeah. And then of course, we also got the new 1965 Chevy C10 step side. At the moment, there's a 308 cubic inch Holden V8 in there, just over the five liters. Uh, we've got a Edelbrock 650 CFM carb, four barrel, and yeah, that's about it. Um, three on the three, trimatic gearbox. Brake doesn't work, it didn't really start, gearbox is not lacquer, so quite a few things to get done here. This one we're just gonna get it running, get it nice and tidy, and then probably let it go. No turbos or superchargers or weird stuff planned for this. But yeah, let's have a look around, let's have a look inside. So inside, nothing special, uh, basic three bench. Um, we actually got a radio in here and then some custom billets, steering wheels and stuff. Uh, that's about it, bro. <laughs> and then of course, this is a new daily 530D BMW E60. Uh, nothing gonna change here. We might just do some service and a few touch-ups here and there. Who knows, it might not even stay that long. So enough about the cars for now. Let's chat a bit about our new space. All right, so plan set up for now is this going to be a fabrication uh, space. We're getting another table, we've got our two TIG welders. Uh, yeah, fabrication, welding, air, everything over there. Then we've got our power tools. This still needs cupboards up and down. Um, uh, metal, few parts, wheels and tires, engine stand, nothing major. Then it's going to be car, car. This probably won't get another car um, on this space. Uh, maybe some cabinets for parts, tools, stuff like that. It's going to be car, car, we've got tools over there, project car. Again, we can park something in here if we do need it, but at the moment we're probably going to keep this open because there's going to be a lot of sparks and welding splatter, everything happening right over there behind you. And then uh, this is sort of the service bay, so when we need to service a car, help someone out, quickly diagnose and fix something, it's just going to pull right in, fix it and pull right out. This also makes it possible for us to get all the cars out when we need to. I mean, we just move the seat thing back, both MX-5s are able to come out. The space itself is about 160 square meters, which is more than enough. As you can see, there's wide open spaces. And come have a look at the most special feature. And just right through the back door, we've got our two donkeys. We need a name, so please, in the comments below, I need a male and a female donkey name. They are so friendly and curious. They're actually on their way right now. Um, so inside, um, obviously we've got our two gauges, okay, and eating that up. There's a bunch of wires that I don't like at the moment. You'll also see the immobilizer there. I want to remove all of that. Um, for now, it's, it's working, but it's not as nice as I'd like it. Then if we have a look at the engine. As mentioned, I did turbocharge this off camera, but we'll get into a series of everything that was done soon. Uh, things to fix, still some wire tucks, a few oil leaks here and there, and we need to change this hot air intake. Okay, so this is actually Riley. Uh, it's uh, like I mentioned before, it's a 1991 uh, MX-5. We've got a lot planned for this uh, for future build updates. We've got, we actually have a whole turbo kit that we want to put in this, uh, intercooler and all of that, and then we're also going to fabricate the whole three inch downpipe uh, for this car. Interior pieces wise, uh, I want to do a whole 
a race interior. <laughs> At the moment, I've got my racing seat here, very, very uncomfortable. Got my, um, my new racing steering wheel and then gauges that are very, very phony. Uh, we have to do air fuel ratio meter and then also hook up that boost gauge because it's not doing anything. Uh, but yeah, that's all from, from my bulb. Right there you have it guys, now that you see what it looks like, you've heard what they sound like, I hope you guys are as excited as we for all the upcoming videos, um, we've got great projects coming, starting off with turboing Riley the white MX-5, we're going to show you all the fabrication, everything you need to know so that you can do it yourself, so that's going to be it for now, remember it's not game over, it's game on.